Good day guys, Bing here. Um, today we are going to do a little uh, dynamo exercise. Okay, so uh, what this one do is, so if I link this, and it will automatically change the, the color of the elements depending on this uh, this list so so these are the RGB color and uh, relative to all these these are some uh, number so and then in the model so we will use a parameter a project parameter for all the elements so for example this is if I use number 10 the color will become this this RGB color, so RGB uh, number. So if I change this to, for example, uh, 60, and it will automatically change to the another color. Okay, so so change it to 50, it would become orange. This one, if I change it to 10, become green. Okay, so let's do it. Okay, so. Okay, so first let me just close this one and I'll also close this Revit file. Okay, so first let's have a look of this Excel. So this is the one we need for all the color. So for for example, if uh, we because uh, here we only have one, two, three, four, five, six. So if you have, uh, for example, um, every color for from one to you know two hundred, you you will have to um, specify all the color. So R G B. So I'll show you how you can get this number. So if you go to the here, so if I go here, and then if I pick color, so for example this one and then go to car custom and it will, t it will tell you so this is the rgb color for this color and then you can just write it here so for example if i uh, if i just pick another one okay so i'll pick this purple and i want to use this so 237 19 237 for uh, maybe 7 7 70 Okay, so two three seven one nine. So two three seven one nine two three seven four seventy. Okay, so now we have uh, one actual color. So you can add all the color uh, and also the relative uh, um, number in this in this uh, shade. Okay, so once you finish this one, you can save as save as a CSV file. Okay, so I'm going to just save it um, save it here. I think so. I'll just where's my save save. Yep, I'll just overwrite overwrite it. Okay, so this is down. So we can. Okay, so now let's uh, create a project. So first, a project. Okay, so let's uh, create some wall. Uh, maybe a, a roof. And maybe some doors. Maybe some windows. And okay, so that's it. So this is a project. And then Next, we need to add a pro project parameter. Okay, so add, I'll name it ID and text. So um, we need to check all, check all, and OK, and OK. So now if you select any element, so in this project, you will see this parameter, OK? Same wall, door, yeah. So let's just type in some number first. Okay, so 20, 30. 
uh, 40. Okay, so this number, you need to uh, type in the same number as this one, otherwise it won't um, work. Okay, so, so now let's start the dynamo. So, okay, so let's first new and we need to first we need to uh sorry we need to link the 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 list so the file the csv file so right click csv import okay so then we need a file path and then link this so browse find your csv file which is here okay and then so now you will see uh, it's already here so this is a list of lists There's, there are four lists so this is the id the first column and then r g b okay so go so this is r this is g and this is b so now we need to separate them so right click and we need to uh, use the get item oops uh, get item at index and link to this double click start from zero one one two three and then link this to this index so you will see this will give us the first list so which is id and if i select this one control c control v and index link to one this will give us the second one so which is a uh, r same control v another control v and we can link this to two link this to three so now this will be the id so you can rename it this will be r this is the j and this is the b okay so the next step is uh, we need to select element okay so right uh, let's go there so element selection so you'll find this select model elements and then you can click on this one so I just need to move this a little bit uh, here okay and then select go to Revit select everything you want to uh, uh, overwrite okay so now you will see all these elements are here and then we need to um, get parameter we need to get the I the ID number from this parameter from from the model so from here okay so right click get parameter so and then select link this to element so the parameter name is ID so double click quote rd and link that to here so now it will give us a list of this so we, on, we only type uh, in four of four of them so that's only four here okay so now um okay so this is this is a important part uh, um one because these are text parameter so we we need to change them to um, number so it will be to right click to number okay so this is it now this will give us these are number okay they are different to this one these are text <laughs> okay so now what's the next one okay so next step is we need to get the index of list so okay so let's do um uh index of so and then link i think we need to link to that so list and then okay so we need to link link this to id uh, maybe i'll just move this to here so it's here and then and also this to the element 
and then this will tell us uh, so you see this the first one if I'll, I'll just show, show you this one 20 is the 20 is the I'll just show this one as well so you will understand what this uh, is telling us so it tells us the 20 is the one one is actually this one okay 20 is the second one of this list 30 is the third one of this list 10 is the first one of this so this is the index of list and then we can just uh oh, oh, sorry i forgot to add a color so let right click color and then just link the r g b okay r g b so this will give us seven seven color different color and then from this index we can we can get the color for um for for them okay so so once again we will need the um get item at index so this time we will need so from this color and then this is the index and this will give us these four colors so one two three four uh relative to this so can you see it's a little too small so these four color relative to these four uh parameter id okay and then now we have this uh this is a list of color and we have this this is the element so we can use Override color, so it will be right click. Let's search. Um, we are here over right color in view. So link this to element which is here. Here, let me close this. And link this color to this list and now if I drag this dynamo to here so you will see it's already changed the color okay so and because I'm currently on uh, automatic it will automatically change so for example if I change this uh, door currently it's 40 I change them to uh, change it to 10 it will become green again so this window uh, if I change it to change it to 70 it will become purple so this window change it to uh, 60 become orange okay so and this wall let's change it to 70 as well it become purple okay and then so for example this wall let me change it to 20 become oh sorry yeah uh, What's happening? It's not changing. Um, I don't know. Not working, these two. Oh, did I select? Oh, maybe I didn't select them. Let me just try it again. Okay, so select, select everything. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, it looks like previously I didn't select these two. Or maybe I missed them. Okay, so let's try it again. So this door, 70. Okay, so all good. So um, if you want to change them back, you can just turn this to menu and manually just right click and override uh, bar element and click on reset and okay. Okay, and then if you want to change them uh, again, change the color again, you can just click on run or oops automatic oh don't work hmm. maybe let's select them again yeah oh good um, and also there's uh, another so if you have the package so I'll just drag this to so in uh, Revit there's a package so if you have the clock work package so there's a 
a code. Um, I think it's reset element. Yeah, so this one. So you can also use this uh, this one. So uh, we need a view. So but yep. So right click view, and then you can select a view. So 3D view. Link this to view, and then I'll just drag this to here again. So um, you can just um, elements. So it's which is this one. You can drag this to here. So it will become, it will uh, reset all the uh, override. Change this back to here. Okay, so that's it. Um, I'll, can you see everything here? So I'll, okay, I'll stop here. So for a second, so Okay, so that's it. Uh, if you have any question, please let me know. I'll see you next time. Oops. Thank you. Bye.